Hi guys, welcome back. As you know, this this plan didn't quite work, but I do have a second plan. It's not that piece. It's this piece that I've cut and split. Because I'm going to get the angle I want, I think, and I just need to sew a patch in. Right, so let's go and set up the hide. Obviously it takes ages. Right, my plan this time is to have, I want to actually form this a bit better, a bit more curved, and so it won't be any higher than this piece. I don't want it sprung out because it will push the opening out, so I want to shape it so it was literally from there. And then I'm going to have some material so that it comes to maybe there and then it'll just be loose and it'll just hang down and then when you fold it up it'll fall in line with the rest of the fall in line with the top of this so when it all closes up it should stay now it should hopefully then just fold up like this and then when you open it however much material I put here it should just hopefully sit like that so I'm going to clip it in take some measurements and take it from there well that's the shape I've come up with it sits nicely there so I'm going to take a tape measure and make a measurement on up here it looks like it's going to be about maybe uh, five inches six inches and I'll push one of the material to here okay let's give that a go so that's the kind of shape and angle I'm looking for I've measured let's um, let's go cut some material It was at this moment that I realised that the measurement I'd made across the gap was the material I'd cut. So I needed to duplicate it, which is why here you can see me sewing two pieces together down the middle. And I didn't want to cut a fresh piece and start again. I'm just marking a fold line so that when I run it through the machine it helps with giving me that flat edge. I 
And what I realized about this time was that it still wasn't gonna work. What I needed to do was have more of a diamond shaped figure, which you'll see in a minute. But this was just now a case of folding it over and sewing it and cutting off the excess to get the shape that I was after. What I'm going to do is put a, I'm leaving a bit of extra material that I can then I'll just tack through at the top and maybe along here a few places and the same with this bottom corner and then when it folds up it'll just fold flat so it should just be enough to cover the opening I don't want it Well, I don't want. I don't want it so deep. I still want to be able to kind of get the camera up. I put the camera in there and tilted it upwards, and I didn't want it to. I didn't really want it any further than any deeper than about six inches. So um, let's put some tacks in and see how it is. Some of my old photos and some inspiration. I keep my needles in an old bamboo and ash corked pot I made back in my bushcraft days. The ends that I'm going to sew as like a pivot point, I just wanted to fold over and give it two or three layers and a fair bit of stitching just to keep it solid. Right guys, well, finished pretty much finished for now. I will put a few more. Um, I will put a few more stitches in it, but I might go all the way up and all the way down now, and probably squirt it with some more fab seal. But um, yeah, that's it. it. It covers exactly what I wanted it to cover. It um, it comes up flat and out the way when I put the whole thing away, which is awesome. It sticks out exactly as much as I want it to. You can barely tell that it's actually come from a different hide. Well, it didn't come from a hide, it came from that portable toilet. I do have to re-bend the wire just a little bit there, but I've tacked it in the bottom with I left some extra material at the end of the wire 
so it's just soft sewn in um, so that's not going anywhere the end of the wire I slid a bit of electrical heat shrink tape on the ends and to make them so they're not sharp even though I had sanded them but that's the the mesh hole um, I'll show you from inside I'm sure you can see me <laughs> hello that is that is it all done I've really quite enjoyed making that it's been a little bit taxing on the brain on more than one occasion and I did order a needle threader for the sewing machine but it hadn't arrived before I wanted to carry on building this I'm very pleased with it I hope it gives other people an idea of modifying um, some of the stuff that you can buy I will be doing a video shortly on all the little bits and bobs that I've either made or modified uh, to make my wildlife photography journey more inexpensive than it could be I hope you've liked it and if you have I'd appreciate you giving it a thumbs up because that really does help the channel grow if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to then that really would be great I'd appreciate that no end and if you want to know when my next video is out then click on the notifications tab and that will let you know as soon as it's been released so I'll put some pictures at the end of this yeah I'm very pleased with that I'll put some pictures of it close up at the end of this so until next time thanks for watching I hope it's helped bye for now Well guys, so in total, it had three coats of waterproofing. I made the mesh cover to help hide me inside and the rain cover. So I really enjoyed making this. If you'd like to know more about me, you'll find me on my website. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas.